Alright, so I, uh, was editing and I saw something. Uh, apparently, there is giant pumpkin lantern thingamajigs. My bad, I did not see that because I'm fucking blind and stupid, I'm sorry. I like how I had glasses on and I still didn't see the fucking thing. Damn. So, with that in mind, uh, let's finish doing this over here real quick. Let's just get it done with here. We're just gonna till a couple of these. We're not gonna do too many. We're just gonna do a couple. That way we can get it out of the way. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Goddamn, can this be any fucking longer? Holy fucking shit. God, this takes a fucking eternity. I don't know why it takes an eternity. But that's just the way it is. I apologize. I'm sorry. 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 I put this down. Let's go over to the thing. Bruh. There you go. Uh, so that is one whole plot. That's one plot. That's one plot. Okay. All right. How many regular seeds do we have? Six. Okay. So we put these down. Get these out of the way. These are the annoying ones that don't have any purpose, that are just random plants. And then after that, we put down these four. We put down the. Let's go over here and grab this. Because I want onions. I think that works. Okay, and then uh, what we do... Garlic. Whole bunch of garlic. Uh, one over here, why not? And then three pumpkins. Just to get these out of the way. Do our tomatoes, or potatoes. Whole bunch of potatoes in one spot, that's fine. That's all we can do. Uh, we'll do one corn. Put that down. Pick this up. There you go. We need rot, so let's put three of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. That makes compost. That'll be for all the uh, thingamajigs in there. Holy shit. Okay. So now that we know what we're doing, let's take all this put this in the one thing right here that'll be enough growth formula for all those uh, onions we have this one right here put this on the ground uh, do we have a paddle we do okay I'm a bitch. We have like so many things to do. I want to get to the fucking uh, pig king as quickly as possible. So let's put this in here. Uh, take our meatballs, obviously. Oh my god. Fucking hate running around. Put that in here. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm so fucking sorry. I know I'm fucking slow, okay? Hang on. Where's my ash? That's what I'm looking for is the ash, and I can't find it. There it is. Let that rot. Holy shit. Okay, let's go see Pig King. Apparently, Pig King has details on the... Whatchamacallit. It said, go to Big Pig King for details. Something like that. So, I want to go to Pig King for details.
That way. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a healer spider over there. Poor spider. I need silk, so this is important to me. There you go. Ba 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 ba. Hand bat. So apparently he has details on the matter, so let's see what he says. Hello. This is C Pig King for details. Didn't have anything. Sorry about that. Okay, um does not seem like there is anything around here to symbolize a pig king tournament so maybe I need a giant pumpkin to do it unless I give one of these to him maybe no okay let me find a trinket maybe I give him a trinket and then he gives me uh, blueprints on pumpkin carving in fact hang on pause let's go into the thing and let's go palm no. Giant? No. Carve? No. Curve. Tour? Uh, none of these look any different. Uh, what? Maybe a chisel chis? No. That looks all the same. Hmm. Knife. <laughs> Knife. Uh, cutting tour. No. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to bring him a giant pumpkin. And if that's the case, I'm going to need my beefalo for that. Uh, and I'm going to have to grow a giant pumpkin to begin with. <laughs> so it's even more not easy. Uh, I'll take this and this. Uh... Cause this has been here for a while. Where is my shit? Like, what? What can I drop? Seeds. That's fine. Dark sword. That's fine. I'll take this. Then we take the other thing, and we're good to go. There you go. In fact, we we don't really need this. To be completely honest, we have two of them at the base. We don't need it. I just want it because I'm greedy. Noise in the background. Okay, so let's keep moving. Uh, I was hoping to see a Halloween trinket on the ground, but it doesn't look like there's any nearby. Damn. Rare. Mm. Why is there no Halloween trinkets? That's the question. This is what we call Zibushit. Fine. I guess we're supposed to grow a giant punk pumpkin and bring it to him. And then we get the tools to carve it. 
It'd be nice if we could carve pumpkins, but not have to use a firefly to light them up. It'd be nice if we could just carve them out in general and get seeds. Because pumpkins, even though they require growth formula and they're kind of uh, an okay niche food, they're not perfect. There's a trinket right there, but I can't grab it right now. Uh, they're not perfect. They they provide a decent amount of health when cooked and when eaten raw. Uh, but pumpkins are really just meant for the fireflies and that's it. Like, they're not a great food to eat by themselves, but they are useful in regards when it comes to uh, hunger and being used for filler. It's just, uh, pumpkins are just mediocre. You know, not, not great, not perfect, but they're in the middle. But giant pumpkins, if we could turn those into giant lamps, like if we could carve them and then put a firefly in them and they become lit up, we could technically put that on the scale if it allows us, and then we can have an infinite light source. That would be kind of cool. Uh, where's my shovel? Plant. 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 Pomegranate. Ugh. Useless crop. I say it's useless, but it, it has a purpose if you're like War Talks or someone else, but to me it's just a pointless kind of crop. Uh, so this one's kind of happy because it's in autumn. Autumn is its favorite season. So let's go turn the dragon fruit in. Dragon fruit is good for beefalo because it heals them, so you can make uh, beefalo pie and heal them for a whole bunch. I call it beefalo pie because it's useless to me, but it's powerful for the beefalo. Give me that. There you go. Was it growth formula? Hang on, I'm pretty sure pumpkins are growth formula. Because I remember I tried to grow them in the past. And those motherfuckers didn't grow very good. When are we getting the carved melon? <laughs> That's what I want to know. When's the carved melon update? This is just monster meat with extra steps. Oh my fucking god. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Give me my fucking Halloween chest. You know what? We. Ah, oh, I was gonna switch. I was gonna say, like, we've been, you know, uh, the other wig for too long. The. Halloween Scarecrow Wigfrid, and it's about to be winter, so it would have been better to switch, but that's okay. Put that in there, put this in there, put this in there. Eat this melon, fuck it, I don't care. Fuck this melon. Mm, growth formula. Open, close, grass tough. Expand the farm a little bit, why not? All I wanted to do is like make sure that my base was a little bit cleaner, but th this basically uh, increases our grass production by double, almost double. Was she saying something because she's getting cold? Because if that's the case, we'll have to chillax in the fire. Okay. 
I think she was saying she was getting cold, so let's get her a uh, nice warm fire, shall we? I'm gonna still leave my beef boy behind. I love my beef boy, but you know, he's in my way. <laughs> he's in my way. I'll use him later. Nah. There you go. So, not only is there like giant pumpkins, which I heard about uh, from the thing, I looked back at it and apparently there is giant pumpkin carvings, but also apparently there's mosquitoes, void mosquitoes that are down below in the caves. And they apparently grab onto uh, dead creatures and revive them. So that's really cool because that means that like we can fight a creature twice basically. So you kill the void uh, mosquitoes, you get some horror and all that. And all you gotta do is just let them take over the bodies of like, you know, uh, rock lobsters and stuff like that. But how do they grab a rock lobster? Like rock lobsters have so much fucking health and they don't die. So how the fuck are they gonna grab that thing? I just realized that, like, that thing has to die for them to grab it. Or maybe it doesn't have to die. Maybe you can just straight up grab it. And if that's the case, it's even more fucked up. Because that rock lobster, uh, is tough as nails. Oh, he was already dying. Okay, cool. That was the one that was fighting with the wolves, so. Give me that. Uh, I'm just gonna look for rocks on the ground, honestly. There's no reason for me to mine rocks when there's tons of them on the ground that I left behind. Like, all these are from the starting, you know, world. You know, like, fucking... When you start up a world, rocks and flint and stuff will spawn on the ground. So all you gotta do is just go and pick them up on your day one. And since I didn't pick any of them up, because I'm not lazy, I just literally just do my own shit. I literally just do my thing. And then bada bang, bada boom, I get my shit. So there you go. We just come over here, grab it all, and then we're good to go. I'm gonna just eat this. This is annoying me. Grab the poo along the way, because I left the poo behind. That was a bad call. I shouldn't have left all that poo behind, because now that poo is going to despawn. I believe poo despawns eventually, similar to the Halloween trinkets when you're not on Halloween mode. Uh, Hollowed Nights, when you turn it off or when it's not active, any trinkets that you leave behind uh, during the event will eventually uh, despawn. And I know rot just fucking washes away, so we have to pick this up too. We have to pick up the rot or else it'll rot away. Grab these. Now we leave behind a lot of poo. Why do we leave behind so much poo? Uh, more rot. More poo. Good god. Some charcoal that we left behind. I believe there's charcoal at the base too, so we'll have some extra charcoal. Open this up real quick so I can see. Uh, we got logs in here, good. Put away the sticks. Thank you. You go in here. I don't have any sticks. Come here, you basic bitches. Uh, I have no berries. I thought I did. I'm 
getting lost. Come here, you basic bitches. It's very sad that these lobsters don't go for anything important. They only go for berries and seeds, which is really awkward. I kind of wish that they were a little smarter and they were like, ah, maybe I should go for a better food source besides just berries and seeds. I love how they don't fight back either. They just follow it. They're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> They're like, okay with it. I wish there was fucking lobster traps. Honestly, that would be like the best thing ever is to have some fucking lobster traps to catch these little fuckers with. Alright, let's drop this, grab this, and let's take it home. This will be for a boss fight. Let's do some bisque, because that'll be easy. Look at how much poo we got. Fucking epic. Let's uh, drop this. We now have growth formula. Hell yeah. Do that. And then we should have, yep, some compost, fertilize. Now it should have enough, but I'll make sure that it has enough. Hang on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Where are we at? Already lost. Already confused. That's okay. We got potatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> trying to think here. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm confused. I'm getting lost. I think there's a charcoal over here. Yes. Where my sticks at? Some bitch. Uh, where's the barrier fur, real quick? I'm pretty sure we have barrier fur. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we have the silk, right? We have the hound teeth. I'm pretty sure we do. If we don't, we can just go get some. That's fine. Uh, there's this. There you go. That's two. I think we need a little more than that. Just eat it. Doesn't matter. Uh, I was doing something and then I forgot. Yeah, teeth. There you go. Fucking stupid. Go get the teeth. We don't have any. Okay. Is there any teeth on the ground? I could have sworn we had teeth. And I thought we had enough to do what I want to do, but that's okay. If we don't, we don't. Alright, those are all grown, so I can actually grab those real quick. Luckily this winter, we don't have to worry about the Walking Kang, the Tam O'Shanter, or uh, Deer Clops. Like, we can just kill Deer Clops whenever we want. Like, that's not hard. When it comes to uh, Claws, that's like the big one. And then that's about it. There's really nothing else we can do during winter. 
Winter is the most boring season to me. Like, it's not difficult. It's not hard. It's literally just sit at base, farm, and that's it. You just farm. You see that up there? You see what that fucking little guy is doing? He's doing it for me. You know, farm. That's all you do. Now, a lot of those crops are going to get upset because none of them are in the correct season. But potatoes are like the main one to grow because potatoes only require poo. And one poo is equals eight points of poo. And since each potato only needs four points of poo, you can put in two, uh, two poo to grow your potatoes. Which means you can grow massive potatoes by just farming poo. It's insane. The literal gimmick of winter is grow food. Enjoy self. <laughs> That's it. Damn it, I need more. Yeah, these potatoes are almost done. They're gonna grow like almost instantly. I think these two are the only ones that are gonna be sad because they're not near like teammates, so they're gonna be very upset. Uh, but that's okay. Let's find out. Something hinders the growth. Something hinders the growth. Foul plant thrives. So these two are definitely not near family. Foul plant thrives. Yeah, hinder growth. That's because it's not in the correct season. That's fine. Uh, all the onions won't grow very good, but all of the garlic slash potatoes will grow just fine. And since garlic can grow in any season, you literally just feed that fucker as much uh, as much com as much compost as possible, and you're fine. Oh right, the uh, fucking craft the thing, stupid! I forget. Right there. Now we have two of them, so that means we can grow as many meatballs as we want. One, one, two, three, cook. One, two, three, cook. Meatball for day, meatball for day. You can go into the center now, because this is your home. You live over here. <laughs> Welcome to your shitty ass home. Give me that and give me this, thank you. Uh, we don't have enough teeth for what I want, and we have to just sit by base for a little bit until we get enough teeth. That's fine. I'm so sad that those pumpkins are not thriving. That'd be so nice if they did, but no. Anyway, foul plant thrives, as you can see. Foul plant thrives. And since we didn't assess you here, there. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, so yeah, all he, all he needs is poo, and he puts in everything else. This one needs, uh, growth formula. So if you want to grow this thing, it requires... Wait, no, two arrows mean... Two arrows mean four when it's going up. Because one arrow means two if it's going up. Two arrows mean four, and then four arrows mean eight. So yeah, this one needs eight compost. This one needs four growth formula. This one needs four manure. So if you want to grow pumpkins and or potatoes, you will need a ton of uh, growth formula. So what I would do is since garlic puts in eight, uh, I believe the two arrows mean four actually. So that puts in four growth formula. If you put garlic with a bunch of potatoes, uh, pumpkins and all that, they'll actually grow for each other. So technically speaking, we can do four potatoes, four pumpkins, and one big-ass garlic in the middle, and then just put garlic all around on the sides, and that should help. Actually, no, hang on, because when it comes to the family trait, they only have so much distance away from each other. They only got like a tile's worth of distance from where they are planted. So if they're too far away from each other, they're only going to become small. So you have to put them very close to each other. So if you want to do garlic and you want to do all that stuff, you have to do big ass rows. So that way they're all happy. 
Actually, you can't even do big ass rows because fucking big ass rows. The corners will have sad plants because they're not in your family. Fuck, you have to do it just right, basically. And you can't have more than ten plants per plot, so you can't do more than ten per plot. It's nine is like the max limit for me, but ten is the max limit in game, so you can only have ten crops per uh, thing. So technically, you could have four in the middle with three on the sides. Oh my god, four in the middle, three on the side. You technically can also do eight per thing, but that'd be a waste because obviously you're wasting room. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's fine. Uh, Pick. This is. Ah, fuck, I shouldn't have pulled it. I should have just left it there. Now it's hindered. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Let it finish its growth cycle. Let it finish its growth cycle. It probably got 0 0.2 stress points out of that, but that's okay. It didn't get enough stress points to not grow. I'm gonna leave all those alone. What the fuck? Nah, it thrives. This one's not thriving. Yeah, that one's not thriving. That's okay. I wish it was three for the family trait, so you didn't have to do the four for the family trait. The family trait is like the most annoying part, because there's like very limited ways to keep family up besides just putting four in a plot. Technically, you could do five of one plant and four of the other. Because that would work, but then one of the plants wouldn't have the necessary uh, nutrients. Unless it's garlic, then you can just throw in some fucking dumbass... Whatchamacallits, the uh... You can just throw in random shit for that. I think I'll be back. I'm gonna go check the other place for teeth. Since we're not doing the Krampus sack, I might as well fucking just, you know, make the piggyback. It'll slow me down by, like, 15 points, but I don't give a fuck at this point. Like, I just want fucking... What's I'm gonna call it? Oh, God. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. You don't see me. Brother. Brother. Now where did my walking king go? Okay, I'm about to say.
I mean, this guy did eat some monster meat, so. I'm cold. Give me the tooth, I'm sorry. This will keep me relatively warm. Alright, we can leave that there. Uh, I don't really need the Tamo, but we can come back for it, actually. The Tamo Chanter shouldn't get damaged by environments or nothing like that. It'll just sit there. Uh, the only thing that can damage it is probably meteors, but there's none around here, so we're fine. Uh, I can't pick it up. Dink. <laughs> I don't know why I keep going ding at the end. Probably because of fucking, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name of it. Hamlet. Probably because of Hamlet. Perfect. So all these are fucking fully grown finally. We can put these down, grab these. Why isn't it to where, like, pumpkins can just grow? during the fucking, uh, you know, brain hurdy. Right, why doesn't it grow during winter, uh, the, the fucking Halloween event? Why does it not grow during that time? Finally. Put that away. We can put this away. Put that away. Fucking get out of my way. This just needs to go in here. Epic. Now I'm megaton warm, and I don't have to worry about fucking the effects of winter. Winter does not affect me, I'm too strong. Open this up. Put one of these in there, and then a whole bunch of, like, fucking potatoes. Give me these, actually. These require growth formula. However, if we grow them a very specific way, I don't have to put anything in them. Alright, so these don't grow during winter. Oh, wait, no, because I had no family, so I got upset. It needed family and I was upset because it didn't have any. I can wear this now because I don't have to worry about the effects of winter. Winter doesn't affect me anymore. I have the the big boy what's it call it. Put these in here. What's in here? Okay. Okay, uh the boy the bingo. Just go in here. Okay. 
give me the juice. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> 